Hi there, it's Tricia from East Marsh Acres. Um, just a little update. Uh, we've been busy this spring uh, doing a few things um, and some benefits of what we did in the fall. So here's what we did in the fall. We planted some uh, tulips and daffodils and they are all coming up here. So didn't know where we'd put them but this is kind of a neat thing and I think on that hill I'm going to plant some wild flowers and so on. What I've done here in front of it and kind of on the side and over here in the front <clears throat> lawn as we'll, we'll call it but what we've done is so I raked it up and I've planted some clover so this is about three weeks in and you can see that it's germinated so hopefully clover will take over this whole spot and as you know clover does not need to be um, <clears throat> mown it only grows to a certain height nice and green drought resistant so in the front here I'm gonna make some flower beds so I have not sown clover here in the fall I planted some hydrangeas so these ones have all survived the winter these two at the ends they are um, limelight hydrangeas and this one in the middle is a different one but it is it is not coming up from the bottom but there's some uh, some buds and leaves coming out at the top so it survive the winter <clears throat> over here those three uh, evergreens those were our Christmas trees and so we planted them there and uh, um, over here this is the um, this the locust tree uh, sunburst locust that we planted last fall as well and it has some buds on it so it has survived and we have had um, sunburst locusts on our property every property we've actually had we we've, we've kind of uh, planted one we love their filtered sunlight and uh, and they grow fast and so anyways that is our um, <clears throat> are planted sunburst locusts so um, I as well has started you know um, the seeds inside but here are some of the seeds and my seedlings that I have in my little greenhouse so this is my little greenhouse and here are some my tomato plants and some green peppers we have zucchini we have um, <coughs> cucumbers more of them <coughs> sweet william that have we got those in three years ago in hamilton so down here we have some strawberry plants that have to be planted so we got 50 strawberry plants and then we've got asparagus that we have to plant this weekend as well. So this is my greenhouse. It's finally getting warm. Um, I put together some front um, uh, urns in front of the door and they have some of those sweet williams and they have um sweet peas so i grew those from seed so hopefully they will um climb up the branches there and i'll get some lovely sweet peas um and so same here i think i'm going to add yet some um petunias that i have <coughs> um growing in the seedlings so they are um, binding petunias so then they will bind down nicely 
Um, say hi, Elves. Hi, Elves. Yes, hello. Did you see Opa? Yeah? Okay. Shall we go see Opa? Okay, so we are, this is kind of the update then. Oh, yes, we also... We also planted now, I'm, and I'm, I've got my fingers crossed for this kind of, of uh, uh, planting. But in the back here, so you see in the back of the house, we have planted. Um, I've got two peach trees that I've planted, or we both planted. <clears throat> and a nectarine plant, a uh, tree. So we were told that, that the, um, those types of trees, so we're kind of in the iffy zone, whether they will survive or not. But we've got them out in full sun. It will get the morning sun as well. So apparently that's good for the fruit, if we ever get fruit, <coughs> to, um, uh, dry off the fruit and so there's no mold and so on so you can see at the side now this is our berm it's quite quite wet down there so we are going to have to have some work down there <laughs> Alps is exploring in the berm so down in the corner there down there I think that's where we're going to plan to put a pond at some point in time but let's go see what Roland is up to. We are going to be moving the chickens onto the garden today and out of the greenhouse. You can see them working away down there. So let's join him in a sec. So coming up to the garden here, you can see that we have taken the tarps off our vegetable gardens and they're going to dry nicely in the sun today. Um, so, as you can see, the trailer is gone. We sold the trailer, so that is gone. Our home that we had for <coughs> a few seasons. <coughs> and yesterday, we had... Um, so that's 10 yards of triple mix and mulch mixed together. And then the middle pile there, that's a little bit different color, is mushroom compost. So we uh, had that delivered yesterday. So that's going to be part of building up our soil in, uh, in the gardens, but um, starting the, the, um, the soil in the hoop house. So first step is to, we're going to Get the chickens moved from over here. So it's going to be kind of a two-step process. We're going to put them in the hoop house, move the fence, put the chickens <coughs> into the hoop house, or into the, um, and then, yeah, get the chickens into the new netting that will be over here. Hopefully we can herd them in or catch them and put them in so <coughs> anyways um, Roland's getting around the garden ready so uh, the fence will work because they are going to be more exposed to predators now that they don't have the added um, benefit of the hoop house so um, anyways we'll get to work and talk to you later
Hi, Roland here, and uh, we're about to try to herd chickens. I assume that it's sort of like herding um, cats, but a little bit trickier. Uh, not aggressive though, uh, for the most part. And uh, so what we're trying to do is take them from the, uh, the high, house, high tunnel, and Trish has got some treats for them to uh, hopefully entice them along the way. And they're going to go into this new area that we've just set up with the uh, chicken fencing. Um, at least that's the plan. Okay, let's let her rip. Okay, we just moved the uh, chicken shaw that was inside the high tunnel here and we took out the back wall. We'll show you what we're doing there, uh, putting the back wall back in again. And uh, moved the chicken shaw inside the fence. The fence is hot now and the chickens seem to be absolutely loving it. We're going to go to town looking for insects and worms and all kinds of stuff. Water's in there. So they've got shade, they've got shelter, they've got water, and they've got food. Uh, so everything that the primary needs is taken care of. And let's go see about putting the back back onto the um, the high tunnel here. So what we need to do is to put the upright pole back in place. So there's a piece that's hanging from the ceiling here, so that's there. And then there's a piece that's on the ground there. That needs to go vertically here, tie into the whole two horizontals, and then we need to pull um, the plastic back in place and put the wiggle wire back in. So a relatively quick process. We'll hope. Um, of course, it's always fraught with a whole bunch of unknowns. We'll keep you up to date as we go along. Okay, just to update you, we've got the infrastructure, so the horizontals and the vertical back in place again. And now we're going to be putting the um, back plastic and tying it into the top with the wiggle wire that Patricia has got uh, in her hand and then we'll be doing the two sides and then the bottom to finish it off and hopefully we can get it as tight if not tighter than we had it before in fact uh, it wasn't all that tight um, you can see that it moves a fair bit uh, so hopefully we can actually improve on that uh, as we're going along anyways we'll keep you up to date and uh, talk to you soon. Okay, 
we've got the end back in place and I think as good a job uh, at least on the top as we had before we'll have to come back soon and put up the roll up sides because it's going to be quite warm inside there uh, very very shortly so we'll need to uh, make sure that there's adequate ventilation so that plants don't cook in there okay just cleaning up and I think we're going to go in after a good morning and a half or so work that was a pile of work all right so I think we're going to sign off there um, so the chickens are happy they're enjoying themselves uh, some of them are taking the shade already and uh, Trish is just cleaning up the eggs so the haul for today is 11 which we get about four or five times a week it, it basically goes between 9 and 11 with the average being somewhere 10 most days anyways so I'm wrapping it up and we'll talk to you again soon <laughs>